And uh, what is the formula for uh, the pressure according uh, with the Pascal law? Uh, the pressure should be equal to the force divided by the area. This is the secret. But the, the secret is not only the formula. The secret, the secret is what happened <coughs> in a hydraulic circuit completely closed. What happened in a hydraulic circuit hermetic? Yes, the pressure is constant in all the points. Exactly. For that reason, in, in, in the brake system in your car, when you apply the brake pedal, that force that you apply in the brake pedal is transmitted in all the system and finally in the pads on the discs. In general terms, uh, the hydraulic systems are used to transmit too much power, too much power, and, uh, and but uh, at a slow speed. Yeah. For example, if you have an actuator and a high, you have an hydraulic actuator. Those hydraulic actuators, the movement, the movement of the piston, like this one that we have on the screen right now, is too slow in comparison with the actuators, actuators, pneumatic actuators. The response of a pneumatic actuator is a fast response uh, because uh, it's, uh, this is the consequence of the fluid. Yeah, pneumatics is used for high speed but low torque, low up output torque. Suppose that you have a, a, a closed uh, container like this with uh, two cylinders. Uh, in, the, in the left side of, uh, of your screen is the uh, cylinder with a small diameter. In the right side you have the cylinder with a bigger diameter. Uh, in the left side we have a, a cylinder with a piston. Uh, the area of the piston is, is uh, one square inch and uh, the area of the piston uh, number two, the, big, uh, the, big word, the bigger piston, is uh, 10 square inches. Okay, and, uh, and uh, the fluid internally in that container is a hydraulic fluid and uh, of course uh, the pressure is constant. What is the meaning of that? The pressure number one should be equal to the pressure number two. That's, that's the, the, the starting point. We are going to start with that concept. Uh, give me an example of other system that is completely closed. Hydraulic system. Remember, there are a lot of hydraulic systems. Yes, the coolant system. The coolant is supposed that is hermetic, is closed. You remember in our previous courses of our gasoline and diesel, I explained in details the coolant system. And I, I mentioned several times uh, that, that you never need to recover the amount of coolant in your car. Only if you have a leak. In the moment that you have a leak, ah, right now the, the internal pressure of the system is not the same. It's not constant because you have a leak. You have a small hole. In that moment, the system is not hermetic. It's not closed. This is the output force. But uh, what happened with the movement of the pistons in this particular example? Okay, in this particular example, we say that uh, we are going to apply a force of one pound in the position number one. And we are going to move the piston number one 10 inches down. Yeah, we are going to move that piston 10 inches down. And we are going to calculate how much is moving the second the second cylinder up. Yes, we are going to apply in the first position one pound and we are going to move down the cylinder number one 10 inches. And now we are going to calculate what happened in the second position. Yes, we, we calculated previously that the output force is 10 pounds. And now we are going to calculate how much distance is moved the second cylinder. Okay, to calculate the output force, we use one concept that uh, stay constant is the pressure. But uh, there is another concept that uh, stay constant similar to the pressure. Okay, the distance number two, this is uh, one pound times, times 10 inches and divided by 10 pounds. Okay, pounds with pounds bye bye and 10 with 10 bye bye and the distance number two is one inch. Ah. <laughs> the second piston only move one inch and the first piston is moving down 10 inches. Yes, for that reason in the hydraulic jack in your car you move all of this and the piston only move up one inch. 
Of course, in, in your book, in your book, you, you, you found it exactly the same explanation with, with the same example. You see, it's uh, the fourth number one um, with the area number one is uh, a, a one, uh, one inch. And uh, we are going to use the same concept about the pressure. The pressure number one should be equal to the pressure number. It's exactly the same explanation that I did right now in this video. You found it, that explanation properly, properly explained step by step. All right, this is the and uh, the second part is uh, using the work, the concept of work in order to calculate the distance. And finally, the distance number two is one inch, exactly the same example with the same numbers. Yeah, if you have a um, if you have a uh, questions, you can check in your book uh, carefully that explanation. All right, my friend.